Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Once in a while I receive hand-me-downs from another quilter and this box came from Frances. So there are some things in here that she didn't need, some things that were given to her that she didn't see herself using and so she sent them along to me. Thank you very much Frances. It was a lot of fun to dig through this box and look at some sewing treasures. There were a lot of bags of buttons, these colorful buttons that I haven't decided yet if I will be keeping or not. Some of these I will pass on to other uh, quilters, other people who like to sew, and some things I will put in my stash. Here's uh, some elastic, some thin elastic that is uh, really nice to have on hand. And it was fun to decide what kind of project I could come up with using this bag of goodies. I thought I would use this rickrack. There was a baggie full of rickrack. Now I do have some rickrack, but um, this is another bag that I will add to my stash. And I thought it would be fun to make a little project using some different colors of rickrack and maybe just a little bit of ribbon. So some white zippers in this bag. And today I'll be using one of the white zippers from this package of zippers and I'm starting out with a rectangle fabric. It's about 12 inches by 10 inches and I'm going to be making a zipper bag with some white fabric and some batting. So I have two pieces of batting here. Well it's actually one strip I'm going to cut in half real quick and then I'm going to show you how I put these two pieces of batting together for my little zipper bag. The edges weren't quite straight, so I overlapped those two sides. And then I'll take my ruler and my rotary blade, and I'm going to cut right through the center of that overlap. And I'll remove the little bit of excess there. So now I have a nice straight line so I can put my two pieces of batting together. I'll be using just a tiny bit of my 505 spray adhesive. It's just a temporary spray that keeps the batting and the fabric sort of stuck together. And I'm not going to be joining those edges of the batting. I think they'll, it's at the bottom of the bag. I'm not too concerned about them uh, being exactly together. And I think it'll be fine. So now I'm going to take a pencil and give myself some guidelines here for my rickrack. I'm going to draw a couple of pencil lines two inches apart just to keep my lines straight. I'm going to be attaching rickrack and ribbon over the top of my zipper bag. Next thing I did is I pulled out all those pretty colors of rickrack and ribbon and cut them just a little bit longer than the width of my bag. I wasn't sure how many strips of the rickrack and ribbon I would use, but it ended up to be eight little um, pieces per side of my bag.
I started about an inch and a half away from the edge because I will be adding a zipper and I did use white thread. I think a purist would use thread that matches each of these strips of rickrack and ribbon, but I did not want to spend the time changing my thread out every time. So I used white thread on all of my strips and I think it came out just fine. So those little pencil marks on there that I had added uh, earlier are going to help me keep these strips of embellishment straight. When I'm done, they will not be perfectly straight. I know if I really looked hard, I could probably find where they um, swerve just a little bit off that straight line, but I think they're straight enough for this little project. And I'm having a lot of fun adding these pretty colors to just this plain white piece of fabric. When I was done with eight strips of Rick Racker ribbon on one side, I went to the other side and I did the same thing. I left a little bit of white space at the bottom of the bag, maybe an inch, inch and a half. And after I add all of these uh, strips of Rick Rack and ribbon, I will trim my bag and get some lining and a zipper. Was able to cut a piece of lining the same size as my bag. My zipper's a little bit longer than my bag and that's great. I will put the zipper facing the front of my little zipper bag and I will put a seam through all three layers, the lining, the zipper, and the bag with the right sides together. After adding that seam, I did go back and top stitch along the edge of the zipper. And I started a little ways away from the edge. I'm not sure that's going to help me or not, but I thought maybe that would help um, it not pucker so much on each end of the bag. This is a really simple way to put a zipper bag together. So when you're done, the two ends have a little bit of, I don't know if it's a pucker or they're just not super um, straight or the corners are not super smooth. But th this is just a fun bag, so I didn't worry about that. So then I did the same thing to the other side and I did unzip it so that I could do that top stitch along the edge of the zipper. When I had finished that second top stitch, I turned the bag wrong side out again. I want my lining to face the lining and the front side to face the front side with the zipper in the middle. And then I sewed along one side, both the front and the lining. And then I sewed along the other side, just the outside of the bag. With, and then I went over the zipper to leave an opening for when I turn my bag right side out. So here I'll leave an opening. I'll start sewing right there over the zipper and over the, um, the outside side of my bag. And now I can turn it right side out.
in an effort to use more items from my um, fun package I got in the mail. I took out one of the buttons and tried to attach that to the ribbon on the zipper, but I decided after adding it to the zipper, it really didn't look that great to me, so I added a little gold uh, zipper pull, a honeybee that's really cute that I had here in my sewing room. It was actually a little um, addition to a jar of honey that we received last year and I put it here in my sewing room so that I would have it uh, for something and today is the day that that little honeybee is going to get to shine on the end of this piece of ribbon on my little zipper bag. I think this little bag is super cute with all of that rickrack and ribbon decorating the outside. Um, it was a fun challenge to try to get a project out of this bag that Francis sent to me. It's always nice sewing with you. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.